Hi everybody, this is AJ Vander End, and I'm the admin of Rubber Hedgehog Rubber Stampers Group. And I also have art cards with AJ, which is just a page where I post like a lot of the stuff that I do. Um, I recently made some cards using leaves. And I got my idea, my inspiration. I'll show you a couple other ones really quick. And I'll show these at the end. So this was a pawpaw leaf. I got my inspiration from Rubber Stamp Madness Magazine, their most recent issue. You can order it from, um, it should be at Barnes and Noble stores, brick and mortar stores, uh, Stampscapes, Peddler's Den, uh, maybe Rubber Hedgehog carries it. Um, this is the fall issue, and if you hear noise in the background, it's my 15-year-old dog and my 12-year-old dog, Boomer and Junior. They wanna come in here. So this is the fall issue 2022. And on page 32 is where this article starts, Easy Nature or Botanical Printing by Marge Dady. Um, and it's all about leaf printing. Um, I happen to have uh, numerous bottles of Distress, ink, uh, Distress Oxide Spray. So I decided to try these because I have them and I hadn't used them. So what I do is I use either a half a sheet of cardstock. It doesn't have to be any particular kind. It doesn't have to be thick. Uh, it sort of depends on your plan. Uh, this is a really thin um, boomer. You're really helpful over there. Yeah, you're real helpful. Um, this is thin and I plan on cutting this down and framing it. So, um, and this is also the size that I would be ready to go. I could just put the leaves on this and do that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm using a cuddle bug machine. You just crank it with your hand and you have plates that go with it and a, a B and I'm using the C. So I will put the B down, the A and the B. I put a scrap piece of paper. I'm going to put my piece of cardstock right there. And what I'm going to do is take a couple maple leaves and I will show that to you. Just a couple maple leaves. You can use any size. Let me grab a little one. Just enough maple leaves to cover up your paper. You might want to just do one. And the leaves don't have to be perfect. You might want to put one there. Stamp a pumpkin. I ordered the crow and... Um, oh, shoot. I can't think of the name of it. It's a clear set from Rubber Hedgehog of uh, numerous size crows and ravens. That's the word I was looking for. So uh, off camera, what you can't see is I have a big plastic trash can and I'm gonna just hold this down there and I'm gonna spritz, spritz really quick. So I just hold it down in the trash can and this bottle is almost empty and I'll just, I'm gonna do this so you can see. This kind of dripped on there, but I'm gonna, I don't worry about that. That sprayed nice and neat, okay? So I just want you to see. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is put another piece of um, cardstock right on top. So we'll do two prints at one time. Okay. There we go. Sandwich that on there and I'm just gonna lay a piece of scrap paper that's folded on top of there. I have scrap paper underneath the cardstock also. So I've got the A, B, my sandwich leaf, and then I put a C on top. So when this goes through, I want it to have just some pressure, not too hard to push through, but you don't want it really loose to go through. You want it to squeeze. Okay. And let's see how this turned out. I'm gonna to toss that leaf to the side. So we've got this print and this print. And 
I think they're both beautiful, but you can always, uh, after these dry, which is really quickly, um, you can always enhance them with watercolors. You might use a Tombow water marker, uh, water-based markers to enhance these. Um, I'm gonna show you some yellow I used a little bit earlier. See the definition that came through here? That's just the chlorophyll and the leaves that, that comes through. So I made two at a time and you'll see they're similar. One might be a little bit darker. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again. Actually, I wanted to try something I haven't tried yet. I was gonna try it here on this video. <laughs> really, I've never tried it. So I have a, uh, let me grab another leaf here. Okay, so what I'm going to, to try on this scrap piece of paper here. I have Distress Oxide Pad. I haven't tried the pads on the leaves. Um, I probably can't do both sides of the leaf, right? Probably can't. So I'm gonna do one side of the leaf with a pad. <clears throat> I wonder if much would come off if I rub that. Let me, let me try. I don't know if much ink is gonna come off. Oh, this is a nice veiny side. I just don't know if much, oh no, not too much. Let's just give this a shot. Let's give this a shot, right? Okay, let me just fold this up. So I'm trying this for the first time with this pad. I thought, well, maybe some of you only have the ink pads. You don't have the sprays. And I thought, well, I, I hadn't really given that a try. So let me get two pieces of cardstock. And like I said, you can use a half a sheet and put a whole bunch of leaves on there and then cut those down um, put that there. Ooh, that's pretty. Put that there. That doesn't have a whole lot of ink on the back side, but it's got the veins showing, so I'm thinking we might have some luck here. This is just another folded piece of scrap paper. Put my C plate on there. If you don't have a C plate, if you have two B plates, you could just put a whole bunch of uh, stacks of scrap paper in there just to make it so it would be snug going through here. All right, let's crank it through. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see how the Distress Oxide pad worked. Ooh, 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 look at that. So you can, you can do it with a pad. Ooh, I think I might like that better. So this, to me, from all the ones I have sprayed. This to me looks like it is a neater, uh, you're, you're not gonna have run off. You're not gonna have any extra runny ink because all sprays don't spray the same. Some bottles spray really perfect. Some spray a little more uh, with droplets. Uh, I'm gonna show you a couple. This is one I did where I sprayed blue on one side of the leaf and green on the other side of the leaf and it bled out and I thought that it turned out to be beautiful. I like that. I like it just like that. Uh, this was a pawpaw leaf and even though the ink kind of pooled, I, I loved that look. And what I ended up doing was um, I sprayed a bunch on a toothbrush uh, a bunch of the, the Distress Oxide Spray on a toothbrush. So I made like a little puddle, you know, with a little little plate. And then I just, um, I just kind of went like this. And you can practice on scrap paper just so I had these little splatters. I'm sure you, many of you have already tried the splatters. Um, if you hear Boomer out there, oh goodness. And there's one I did. I showed you this one earlier. So anyway, um, I, I cannot wait. He's helping me with the video. He's such a good boy. We just celebrated their birthdays last month. 12 and 15, my mom brought over chicken and balloons and little doggy candle, candle holders. The doggy candle holders look just like them. 
I'm going to show you some I did before. Okay, that was a good experiment. Again, let me hold this up here. I just used Distress Oxide, okay? And I'm going to wrap this up. I'll show you a couple more things. This was a large leaf on a half a sheet of cardstock. And you could cut this into two smaller pieces, mat them, and do a front and back. On art cards with AJ Page, I did one and um, just posted a picture. And Tanya asked me about that. And I said, well, let me just do a video. Uh, this was a little piece of a mimosa tree branch that I had I had cut down just like a Christmas tree. And I thought, well, my husband said it's impressionistic style. And I thought if I matted that on, you know, maybe a black and red, some kind of a Christmas color card. Um, I thought those were just simple, really simple and cute. And God, that is my dog out there, I swear. Sounds like an old man. Uh, this was just a piece, a strip that I had, so I thought that would be a pretty bookmark. And I'll show you one more thing. This was the mimosa branch, and I actually used a light pink, I think it was spun sugar, um, just stress oxide spray, and all the green that you see is the chlorophyll that came out of the leaves. Anyway, I hope this is something that inspires you. If you have any questions, please reach out. You can uh, comment in the comments below or you can message me, whatever you prefer. And thank you for taking a look. Have a good day.